Hello everyone, I'm Chevy Novership, and as always you can like my videos and subscribe in any of the guys that is on the sites. So let's begin this video. I'm going to be recommending some talent thingies for the raid test that we are going to have this Thursday. I'm not going to go boss by boss because I will do that tomorrow when I do the rotation things and then the recommendations for each boss. I'm just going to recommend two general trees that you can use for testing the bosses. So first of all, this would be something for single target. Let's say that this uh, is using this kind of talents and it's also trickster because trickster does more damage if you don't bug out disorienting strikes if you're curious about that bug you can check my other video it's really short and it explains why you need to do something on pool and every time that you want to use disorienting strikes to not lose the value of those two unseen blades now there's some bugs with cook the grass but it still does quite a bit of damage and you also get faced and five stacks of flawless form so that is good now here we are not using cold blood right now because secret technique is a bit bugged and does less damage than it should so equine reprimand is better and also you get one extra talent point for damage than if you went for the tia part so also, we are still using Invigorating Shadow Dust because our two minute window with a trinket that we are going to use, the Signet of Priority, the two minute trinket, you can use that one or the Mercurial Egg, but this one is really annoying. There's also the transmitter that you can kind of save the proc until it's two minutes and use that one, you get a lot of agility. But that window with uh, shadow dust you get two symbols of death and also get um, to use uh, in this case equine reprimand twice because there's a bug right now invigorating shadow dust it's still 30 seconds instead of the 20 that in one post they said it was going to get nerfed but it's not nerfed yet so it's still our um, strongest part of course you have here perforated veins to get um, to make sepsis stronger. You're not going to do that on pool, but you will try to do that afterwards. This is also because sepsis right now is doing quite a bit of damage as we don't have the tier set and other things. And it's still like something like six to seven percent of your damage, nothing crazy. The other times we don't care that much. Premeditation we are not using because we actually don't open from stealth with a shadow strike. Um, same thing as I said before, watch the um, watch the video, I explain it why we don't do that. So it loses quite a bit of power from that alone. And getting one um, finisher thingy, we don't care that much. First dance helps uh, a bit on that. And you also have Echo and Reprimand with First Dance. It pairs quite well because you land on that fourth combo point for free when you begin Dance. So this is the thing that I recommend for single target. There will be also many things that you can change, but this is kind of, let's say, the baseline. I will go into more detail tomorrow about tips and tricks for the rotation, kind of to do a little bit more damage. But remember, there's not a set rotation right now. We are still doing APL things and everything, and they may change this the tree anyway, so we don't care that much. And then now it's the the cliff one. Now here we are using in this case cold blood again because even if uh, circuit technique is nerfed, we still use it to some success in single target. Of course, we are not going to run sepsis. We do run perforated veins, but just to go down and get shell dust. Not for any other uh, special reason. And of course, you need deeper daggers to be able to get a little bit more damage. You can also get the second point in finality. In this case, it's almost the same uh, damage. Depends here, you do a little more damage with rupture. 
I would choose that one and this is the one of course that I will post on the lower part. The same thing, we are still using Shadow Dust because that makes us be able to use two code blocks on the same cooldown thing is with Shadow Blitz and Flagellation. And if you still don't know more or less how Sub plays, you can watch my Season 3 videos from Downflight. It's almost the same gameplay in that case, without, of course, the things that I will talk about tomorrow. But the baseline has not changed. Of course, the important points in the cliff and AoE is replicating shadows and shuriken tornado. Is the, If there are not a lot of targets, you can drop tornado for, in this case, the first dance, or you can get deeper daggers. Replicating shadows when there are more than two targets, or even if there are two targets, is one of the highest points because it also gives some single target damage. So that is everything that I wanted to say. Of course, Death Stalker can also be tried, but the, um, there are some bugs that are, I think, in my opinion, more annoying than the Trickster ones. So I will be mainly playing Trickster, apart from some bosses that may have more AoE. Maybe you can go Death Stalker, because um, Singular Focus, Fencing Knives, and Clear the Witnesses, with, of course, here you also have the momentum of despair and other things. You get a little bit more AOE. And it's still really annoying. So that's everything. And keep tuned tomorrow because I will do the tips and tricks video with some ideas that some people have had and also my own cooked takes, let's say. Have a nice day. And I will see you on the next video.